hi everyone and welcome so recently we have received two boards from the orange pi okay the first board we have received is the orange pi 4a and the second board we have received is the orange pi 0 so now in this video we are going to getting start with the orange pi 03 board and we are going to cover this topic in this video so we have the orange pi 03 and we are going to completely set up our orange pi 03 for normal use okay we will flash ubuntu jammy server linux operating system to sd card we will configure the usb debugging and we will enable the ssh access by connecting with the wi-fi okay so let's see how you can do that and here on the camera you can see i have this orange pi 03 board okay with 2 gb of ram and here you can see the hdmi port usb c port okay usb port and ethernet port here you can see and on the back side we have the micro sd card slot to boot our operating system now what you need to getting start with the orange pi 03 so you need an sd card sd card reader and you will need this usb to ttl converter for debugging okay now what we will do first is we will use this sd card and we will flash the operating system for our orange pi 03 so i'm going to insert the sd card into my sd card reader okay here you can see sd card inside the sd card reader and we will plug that into our system okay now we will format the sd card using sd card formatter tool so here you can see sd card formatter we will run this tool as an administrator okay here you can see i have 64 gb of sd card and the capacity for use is 58.24 gb okay so here you can see we have only one drive now we will click on the format and we'll press yes okay the format is done and we can close the sd card formatter now once you format your sd card you have to download the operating system so here i have provided the link to download your favorite operating system so right now we are going with the ubuntu okay so you can right click and open this link in the new tab and here you will see the image files okay here you can see the two folder this folder is for linux 5.4 kernel version and this folder is for linux 6.1 kernel version okay i have downloaded both of the folders okay and the required files and in this video we are going with the kernel version 6 okay so here you can see this is the operating system folder in my system for the orange pi and here you can see orange pi 03 and we are going with the ubuntu operating system and with the kernel version 6.1 and here you can see there are four images i have downloaded ubuntu jemmy desktop xfce environment image ubuntu jemmy server linux ubuntu noble desktop environment and ubuntu noble server image okay in this video we are going with the ubuntu jemmy server linux so this one okay ubuntu jemmy server linux and which i have already extracted here and here you will see this two file okay this is the main image file which we have to use now to flash this image file into our sd card we have to use balena eacher software now i have already provided the link to download balena eacher software on our website you can click here and you can download the balena eacher software and uh, i have already installed in my system so we will launch the balena eager in the admin mode okay now here you have to select flash from file now you have to navigate to the orange pi operating system we have the orange pi 03 we want to flash the ubuntu operating system with kernel 6.1 and we want to flash the server linux okay so we have selected the image we have selected our sd card okay and we will click on the flash button okay here you can see flashing is started so right now balena hr is flashing our operating system onto the sd card once flashing is done it will start the validation and after completion of validation we can use that sd card into our orange pi 03 board okay so let's wait until the flashing is done
Okay, so we have successfully flashed the orange pie image onto the SD card. Now you can close the Balena Eater. You can remove the SD card, okay, from your system. And uh, here you can see on the camera, there is a SD card slot on the back side of the Orange Pi 03, okay. So you just have to plug the SD card here with the operating system which you have flash, okay. Now there are three pins available for the debug. Okay, so here you can see we have this three pin available for the debug ground RX and TX. Okay, let me yeah ground. The first one is the ground. Second one is the RX and the last one is the TX. So you have to connect this USB to TTL converter pin to this debug pins. Okay, so ground of this converter will connect with the ground pin. RX of this converter will connect with the TX pin and TX of this converter will connect with the RX pin. So let me connect it. Okay, so here I have made up the connection. Ground is connected to the ground. Okay, the RX of this converter is connected to the TX and TX of this converter is connected to the RX of this Orange Pi 03 board. Now we can power up the Orange Pi 03 board and we can connect this USB into our system so let me connect it to our system first okay we have connected now we can power up this board orange by 03 using USB-C power supply but before that you have to open my PC okay and then you have to go to the manage and you have to go to the device manager and in the device manager you can expand the port section and here you can see our USB to TTL converter, okay, which we have connected here. It is connected in our system on the COM4 port. Okay, so we have confirmed the COM port. Now we can open the PuTTY software. Here you can see serial line. So here we have to provide the COM4, okay, because our Orange Pi 03 board is connected on the COM4. And here you have to select the speed 115200. Now I can save it as orange pi 03. Okay, I will save it. And then after you have to double click on this connection. Now here you can see it is completely blank. Okay, you don't see anything here because we haven't started our orange pi 03. Now I will turn on our orange pi 03. And here you can see red LED is glowing. It means our board is getting booted. Okay, here you can see the green LED is blinking. Means booting is in the process. Okay, kernel is starting. Okay, here you can see we have successfully logged into the terminal of our Orange Pi 03. Here you can see welcome to the Orange Pi Jemmy with Linux 6.1.31. The system load is 121%. It's the initial load. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. Uptime is one minute. Memory is 10% of 2GB. Okay, there is no IP address because we haven't connected our board with the Wi-Fi network or any LAN network okay and here is the cpu temperature and here is the usage of our sd card okay so from the 57 gb four percentage is under usage so till now what we have done is we have successfully flashed the operating system onto the sd card we have done the usb debugging using usb to ttl converter now the task is to connect this board and access this board via ssh so to connect this board via ssh we have to uh, connect this board with the Wi-Fi network so how you can connect this board with the Wi-Fi network so if you buy this board then you will be getting this antenna with this board okay so you don't have to purchase the Wi-Fi antenna separately so we already have the Wi-Fi antenna here now what we can do is we can use one command okay we can use this command to connect with the Wi-Fi network so you can use this command to list out the available Wi-Fi networks okay so I can paste that command here and then I can hit enter. Here you can see Capgemini 4G, Capgemini 5G, Wi-Fi, Hotspot and some other uh, 
Wi-Fi networks are available around me and I want to connect with either Capgemini 4G or Capgemini 5G. So the question uh, for some people, does it support the 5G network, 5G Wi-Fi network? Yes, that's why we have the Capgemini 5G available when we search it. Okay, so I can uh, use this command to connect with my 4G network. So I can copy the command. I can paste it here and then I can hit enter. It will ask for the Wi-Fi password. So I can provide my Wi-Fi password. Okay, and then I can hit enter. And once I provide my Wi-Fi password, you will see the message device WLAN0 successfully activated. Okay, so our board is connected with the Wi-Fi. Now, if you want to check the IP address of your Orange Pi 03, then you can run the command if config. And here you can see the IP address 192.168.1.15. So this is the IP address which we can use to connect with this board via SSH. Okay, so let me open the terminal here. Now we will ping this board. Okay, so ping 192.168.1.15. Okay, we are getting ping. So it means that this board is successfully connected with my local Wi-Fi network. Now, how to access this board using SSH? So I have provided the command here. Okay, so if you want to connect with the root user, then you can use this command. So right now this is the IP address of our Orange Pi 03 and this is the root user and we want to connect with SSH so that's why you have to use this command and if you want to connect with Orange Pi user then you can use this command. So let us connect with the root user so I can copy this command. I can paste it here and I can hit enter. Okay. Uh, I have previously connected with this board using the same IP address. So that's why we have this error. Now what we can do is we can go back to our Parrot user and here we have the .ssh folder and we can delete the content of .ssh folder. That's it. Then after we can try to connect with the board again. Now it will ask for your confirmation. So we will say yes and then we'll hit enter. Now it will ask for the root user password for Orange Pi 03 board. And here I have already mentioned the default password for the Orange Pi user and the root user. So for both of the user, the default password is Orange Pi. So you can use this password here, O-R-A-N-G-E-P-I. Okay, and here you can see we are successfully connected via SSH with the root user. Now I can again uh, use the same SSH command to connect with my Orange Pi user. Okay, so I can open another terminal here. I can go to website and I can use this command to connect with the Orange Pi user. So paste it, enter. Password is Orange Pi and enter. And here you can see. So here you can see the local user is two. We have connected with the Orange Pi user. So total local user is three and the first user is this one. So total three users are connected with this board. Okay, so that's why you can see three here. Now I can press control D to disconnect from the orange Pi user. Okay, and here I have the root user. Now I can upgrade my system. I can update my system. I can install whatever package I want to uh, use in this board. Now what you can do is you can remove this debug cable okay and you can directly use your sorry orange pi zero three board without any debug cables okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can set up your orange pi zero three from the scratch okay so we have successfully covered everything Orange Pi 03 complete setup guide that how to flash Ubuntu Jemmy server Linux onto the SD card using Balena Eacher software, how to configure USB debugging using this uh, debug port, okay, use this debug port and the putty software, and after that how to connect with the Wi-Fi and how to enable the SSH access for our Orange Pi 03 board. Now, if you have any question or any doubt in this setup, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Also, you can send me a mail. Also, you can comment on this video and ping me on LinkedIn. Okay, now let's meet in the next video. Till then, 
टेक केयर गुड बाय एंड थैंक यू